powerful explosions and air raid sirens heard all across Ukraine Tuesday morning from Kiev to Odessa, and thousands killed so far in the devastating Russian invasion that began February 24, nearly three weeks ago. But the international community is still refraining from involvement and still scrambling to bring a relatively peaceful end to the ongoing conflict. I've been in close contact with a number of countries, including China, France, Germany, India, Israel and Turkey, on mediation efforts to bring an end to this war. It's never too late for diplomacy and dialogue. The Ukrainian president, Volodymyr Zelensky, on the other hand, still hedging his bets between negotiations and ongoing war. In his daily televised broadcast, Zelensky thankful for negotiation efforts, but then going on to directly warn Russian conscripts and officers to follow their consciences and surrender. This while boasting about the Russian warplanes, tanks, and entire units that have been decimated by Ukrainian forces in the last few weeks. At the name of Ukrainian people, we give you a chance, a chance to live. If you are willing to give up our forces, we will be able to как и положено обращаться с людьми, именно с людьми, достойно, как с вами не обращались в вашей армии, и как ваша армия не обращается с нашей. Выбирайте. Further, Zelensky calling on Russians who are against the war to continue speaking out, including a personal thanks for the brave woman who entered Russia's Channel 1 state TV news studio Monday night. Channel One is Russia's second most popular network nationwide, and before the feed could cut away, the protester, later identified as a Channel One employee, seen chanting anti-war slogans while holding a sign that read, Stop the war, don't believe the propaganda, they're lying to you here. Finally, Israel, meantime, still trying to stay relatively neutral, but Prime Minister Bennett describing the over 100 tons of Israeli humanitarian aid that's arrived so far, as well as the field hospitals that are setting up, including a delivery room, intensive care unit, first aid clinics, and pediatric hospitalization facilities. We have a moral obligation to take action and help those in need, and that's exactly what we're doing. The people of Israel stand with the people of Ukraine. The people of Israel are there for you. ILTV Plus, your news from Israel and more 24-7. Start your free trial today. Subscribe at ILTV.TV and watch from any device.